Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about mutable signs dominant in a natal chart. Well, as most of you know, the mutable signs are Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. Now, mutable energy can be very adaptable, very mutable, as the saying is is what's identified by these signs, the, their classification. They also can be very, uh, they could be changeable, sometimes fickle. They, they often, uh, they have the ability often to adapt to adverse circumstances. I mean, the mutable signs are the type that can turn a, a shoebox into a humidor. They just really, they have that ability to be malleable, to, to blend in to a lot of uh, situations and circumstances they have a ability and I think really like an uncanny ability to deal with uh, let's say like unanticipated changes say they had to move for some reason quickly because they didn't have the, the money wasn't there to afford their current place anymore or recovering from a disaster situation such as like a tornado or something or left their home demolished. They have the ability to, it seems like, to really work with with the negative situations in life where a lot of people, especially some people with the fixed sign dominant chart, they would have difficulty with because the fixed signs, as most of you know, can be very is very unwavering and transigent and they're not about transition and adaptability. The mutable signs are about adaptability, being pliable, they're generally more easygoing collectively. They are more about not making waves uh, with others. They, they're they really more about appeasing uh, people. They The thing about mutable energy and somebody has a mutable uh, sign dominant natal chart they uh, they may like a variety of things in their life they don't they really may disdain monotony and I think mutable energy is strongly about multitasking they could be the kind of person like at a job can be kind of a floater and do this and that where a lot of other people may like to primarily focus on the one on one little section in their and I would say especially fixed signs are more about focusing on one section or department where you could have the mutable sign a dominant person could kind of go everywhere and be Mr. or Mrs. Ubiquitous and would not have really much of a problem with that in contrast to a to perhaps fix or cardinal energy so the uh, the mutable signs are are often about they they like to have things strongly on such on such an even keel and they are about a more about appeasing others about adapting the, to different personalities and dispositions they have the more of the go with the flow kind of temperament they're not they're generally not about saying well it's got to be my way or the highway type philosophy they gen they have flexibility uh, in their in their minds and what they're going uh, what they would like uh, as far as as far as situations go as far as adapting to different people now mutable signs collectively on average and in, in people that have I should say people that have a, a dominant mutable chart they may lack persistence but they can be I, I see them being more tenacious and, and possess more stick to itiveness if it's something that's very enjoyable and something that they really really like to do if it's something they're enamored with and, and it doesn't take too long to accomplish they may be more about persistence as far as something like that goes but if it's something that's going to be very painstaking and time consuming and requires a very long laborious sustained effort then they may have that a little more of a problem uh, being able to, to stick with that particular task or project at hand. Now, if uh, somebody, say, has a, a really like strong preponderance of 
of uh, mutable planets, even if it was like seven or more, especially like a gargantuan amount. And but if they had a, a say they had a Taurus ascendant, like a fixed sign on the ascendant, like Taurus, then that would help stabilize the mutable, the the vacillating mutable energy to a degree. It's always important, as I've stated previously in other videos, to take the whole chart into consideration and try to see the whole picture uh, in it and also there could be compensations by house positions now let's say somebody had like seven uh, mutable energies in their chart but they had like five planets in the in the fixed houses which are which are the second the fifth the eighth and the eleventh now if they had them in those houses then that would help balance the mutable energy a little bit and the person may have a little bit more single-mindedness and a little more direction as opposed to somebody that just had all those uh, mutable planets and didn't have uh, didn't have the compensation by their house position so this is uh, something where mutable signs despite their adaptability can often be inconsistent and they may make a plan to do carry out one sort of action but then right then shortly after that they may contradict that and go toward us towards something else it's just it's that lack of I guess that as far as the consistency goes and, and being somewhat sporadic that's really I think with the mutable signs those are the strong as far as the negative goes for a mutable uh, dominant chart and really the the main positives are, are being about adaptability and being able to uh, make transitions even perhaps on the fly quicker or more readily than somebody that had a cardinal or a fixed dominant chart. Well anyway people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for mutable sign dominant charts and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about people that have natal charts without the fixed quality in them, or I should say fixed signs in them. So anyway, people, two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time people, stay well.